Ugh. It's so hard going anywhere when you're as famous as me. All of this paparazzi. I just wish I had a way to blend in so no one could see me. I know. Trav taught me about some animal that has camouflage. The cheetah. Time for a costume change. Ugh, why isn't this camouflage working? Thanks for nothing, Cheetah! No, I don't want to be asked any more questions! No, I won't tell you my favorite outfit! No! 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 <sighs> Model Trav, spots aren't going to help you at the airport. Looks like Model Trav could use another lesson from the Animal Kingdom. Let's learn more about the cat with the spots, the cheetah. Cheetahs are found in the dry savanna land of Southwest Africa. Their spots help them blend into this very specific ecosystem. They have tan fur that blends in with the tall savanna grasses, and their spots resemble the shadow that the sun creates as it shines through the plants. While they're in their home range, they are masters of disguise. Don't ignore me. Kitty. But their spots wouldn't be very helpful in keeping them camouflaged in places like the Arctic or an airport. No! Cheetahs are also the fastest land animal. Their entire body is built for this speedy chase. They have a long, slender body that makes them aerodynamic and a tail that works like a rudder of a boat that helps steer them towards their prey. There are many aspects of the desert that make it really hard to live in. One component is that hot, eating sun. Seeing your prey when it's that sunny out all the time is really hard. They don't have sunglasses, but what they do have are tear marks just under their eyes that help reflect the sun. This is similar to what American football players wear under their eyes to help them catch the football better. I don't want to play this stupid game and you can't make me. You take those stupid glasses off and you go out there and you catch that football and you win us the game! Ah! A cheetah's diet mainly consists of different antelope species such as eland, kudu, and springbok. They have a very unique kill method where they'll tackle their prey and bite directly into the neck to suffocate it. The cheetah is currently listed as vulnerable according to the IUCN. Land development has greatly impacted the cheetah's range and really made their numbers low. Education to local people about how to care for these animals has been really important in trying to save the species. Let's travel down to Namibia, Africa and talk to a cheetah expert at the Cheetah Conservation Fund. I'm here with Anneke, who's the research and education manager here at the Cheetah Conservation Fund. Can you tell us a little bit about the problems that cheetahs face in the wild? Okay, yeah, absolutely. Um, the biggest problem that cheetahs face in the wild is humans, basically. Because here in Namibia, the cheetahs have to share their space with humans, as well as livestock such as cattle, goats. And so a lot of the times these cheetahs come into conflict with farmers because farmers think that um, the cheetahs are killing their livestock. And so they end up killing the cheetahs as a way of solving the problem. So that's the biggest, um, biggest challenge that cheetahs face. So how do you teach the local community members and the farmers how to deal with the predators, how to deal with the cheetahs? Right, so what we teach farmers is that uh, the cheetahs are not after their livestock. 
cheetahs prefer wildlife such as for example the steenbok and so if farmers are going to make their livestock easy prey for the cheetahs um, the cheetahs will prey on their livestock so just having farmers take care of their livestock teaching them how to take care of their livestock teaching them about the behavior of the cheetahs that really helps and also teaching them about in, in most cases it's not even the cheetah that is responsible for the killing of their livestock so we teach them how to identify which predator killed their livestock. Is there anything that our viewers can do at home to help out cheetahs in the wild? Absolutely. Uh, we accept donations of any kind. Um, you could organize a, 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 a running competition, for example, and you tell your, you know, your local fellow uh, classmates about the cheetah, where you educate them about the cheetah. Uh, you can also just share what you know, the cheetah is all about and how its life is in danger, is in danger here in Namibia. Awesome. And can you teach me how to say cheetah in your native language? So a cheetah is called Lishumbu in my language. Lishumbu? Yes. Did I say it right? Yes. Lishumbu. Yeah. So let us help the Lishumbu <laughs> in the wild. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Hey there, travelers. I'm here in Namibia at the Cheetah Conservation Fund with Iggy. Iggy, can you tell me what it's like having the coolest job on the planet? Such an amazing feeling. Uh, I'm an environmental educator at Cheetah Conservation Fund. Uh, I work a lot with community members, school kids, um, and farmers, and uh, the people out there just to get them to understand the wonderful, amazing abilities of this cat and how important it is to us. I'm sure the kids get so excited when they get to see the cat. What's that like for you? Oh, it's just an amazing feeling, just an amazing, such a fulfilling feeling. Especially when you get to see the wow moment in every child's eyes. You just see how they light up. And that really makes my job such a fun job. And to do more for these little ones. And to do more for the people out there. What brought you to the Cheetah Conservation Fund? Uh, I'm from Ochivarango, about 45 kilometers out from the research station in Cheetah Conservation Fund. And I grew up visiting Cheetah Conservation Fund a lot with youth groups. Um, and, and this has really been something that I always wanted to do. What can I do more to get the people to also appreciate or get this magic moment in this uh, learning experience that we are always providing here. What's your favorite cheetah fact? Uh, my favorite cheetah fact is his tail. It's got such an amazing, powerful tail. Um, it uses this tail as a radar. Uh, so that it can actually duplicate the movement of the prey when they are chasing the prey in a zigzag motion. Uh, it helps it to counterbalance, it helps it to break. And it, the females also use this tail uh, to lead the cubs uh, where they need to follow mom so that they can able to see mom when she's quite in a high grass where they are not able to see her physically. So the tail also helps with that. That is so cool. <laughs> I actually never knew that. Um, what can our community members do to help out cheetahs in the wild? I know they're going to watch this and get so inspired, but I want to know what can they do to help them out? Uh, looking at school kids and school groups, uh, basically school kids can have projects, class projects, where they can learn about this animal um, and, and they can talk to their parents about how important these animals are or the cheetah is. Uh, community members can have fundraising projects in their community and they can be able to help us uh, uh, save these species uh, and basically also uh, they can just they can talk to a lot of people and say don't fear these animals don't fear the cheetah uh, let's really cause all the money that comes in here goes straight directly to the care of the cheetahs at the center and also trying to reintroduce cheetahs back into the wild. So there's a lot that can be done. We can never do enough. So as our director, Dr. Laurie Maka always says, join us, please. We always need a lot of, uh, a lot of friends in this. I have a joke for you, are you ready? Mm -hmm. What animal do you never want to play games with? Aha, uh -huh. a cheetah. <laughs> Wow, it was so cool talking to Anarchy and Iggy about cheetah education. Their passion really inspired me to help save Norman's bigger cousin, the cheetah. 
Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. This episode was a popular one, suggested by the Namibia 2 group of the Project Dragonfly program. If there is a conservation effort or an animal you would like to learn more about, email us at travelers at travstravels.org. For a full list of cheetah facts, make sure to check out our website, travstravels.org. Keep on traveling. All right, old man, it's your time to shine. You get out there and you catch that ball. Our last guy couldn't catch, now it's your turn. Okay, is, is this okay? Ah! Oh, oh.